you're not buying it. <laughs> I have an invisible magic wand. This isn't it. I've got an invisible magic wand in my back pocket. Watch, watch, watch. I'm gonna prove I have one too. Look, right here, there it is. All I have to do is tap the cap like this and the cap vanishes, reappears on the pen. I start off with the pier. I take this off and this old gag <laughs> I've been using for a bazillion years and it works for me. I get a chuckle out of it. Now, it's also a really organic way to show the pen like a human might. However, what they don't realize is you have a second cap on the other end. Nobody ever thinks that. They don't look at your hand and go, but there's a second cap there. They don't. So you're here, okay? And I talk about having an invisible wand, but this isn't it. Oh, no, no, no. The invisible wand's in my back pocket. And so it plants the seed. So later on, they're comfortable when you go there. So all I'm doing is here is taking this off, take this, turn slightly to my right as I, and I don't make a big move with this. I'm going to put this under my arm. Why? Because I want to put this here. Oh, I see. Now, normally to take a pen and put it under your arm is a strange thing. But if you're here and clearly there's the motivation of you're going to take it here and you want to free up your hands, now it makes sense. Okay, it also conceals the fact that you've got the cap there. And don't get nervous. If you do this and you go in and just go, you know, I'm going to take this, I'm going to put it under my arm, okay? Just going to put it under there like that. Now they're suspicious as hell, okay? Just let it flow, okay? Boom. The focus is the cap, actually. That's the focus here. You're going to use my eyes and staring at that. Okay. Now I'm going to do a false transfer, any false transfer from my right hand to my left. Okay. Here I'm just pretending to show it and drop it here. You could do uh, more of a false placement, which looks really nice based on a, a version of a retention vanish. Okay. And again, as I often say on my videos, if you're looking for that real sleight of hand, intermediate, advanced, definitely check out InsideDeception.com. It talks about this sort of stuff in all detail. Whatever thumb, uh, whatever uh, you, you could use a thumb palm vanish, I guess, with a pen cap too by rolling it up into the thumb here, from this position up into the crotch of the thumb as you sort of pretend to put it there. Now you've told them beforehand that the, the invisible wand's in your back pocket, so whatever transfer I use, my right hand goes to my back pocket, leaves the pen cap, and I come out holding this. It's an invisible magic wand. You could even ask people, have you ever seen an invisible magic wand? Wah, 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 wah. You're here, you go tap like this. Now you're so far ahead, because they're hopefully confident the cap's here. It's over there, okay? So you do this, boom, like that, and you show it, and you can either do the straight vanish, show your hands empty, okay? Or you can do the dab like this, pretend it's in your thumb or uh, held out in that hand for a second, then show this hand, then this hand, whatever you want, you're there like that, and then you can either do it like this, revealing it, or you can lean towards someone and say, would you remove the, would you carefully remove the uh, pen from underneath me? Or, very dramatic, the kind of thing people will remember forever, climb a 15-foot ladder, jump down towards someone, ask them to lie down, and impale them with this in the small of their back. 